Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install data loader. Data loader is a tool used by admins to insert, update, upsert, delete, and export record data. There are two primary data tools that are tested on the admin exam. One being data loader and the other being data import wizard. The import wizard is built into Salesforce and no download is needed. However, for data loader, it requires a download to use. I'm going to show you how to quickly do that now. So from the setup menu in the quick find box, we're going to type in data loader and then click on data loader. Now you'll see this prompt at the top that says that you need to install Zulu open JDK version 11 or later. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to leave the link to this page in the description box below. So I'm going to scroll down to look for the version we need. So since I'm using windows, I'm going to download the windows version of Azul Zulu 18.32.11. I'm going to download the .msi version. If you're using a Mac, you can scroll down a little bit more and you can see that there's this Mac OS version. But if you're using windows, like I am, we're going to scroll back up and I'm going to click on this .msi download. It'll take a few minutes, but once it populates, you're going to click on the download and then you'll be prompted with this setup. So I'm going to click next, click next and install. And then we'll click finish. So now that we got this part out of the way, I'm going to navigate back to Salesforce. So from here, I'm going to click on download data loader for windows. You can also look at the windows instructions if you'd like, but the whole purpose of this video is so that you don't have to same goes for Mac. So I'm going to click on download for windows. So after you download data loader, it should be in your downloads folder. I saved mine to my desktop. You're going to right click on the zip file and you're going to click extract all. You'll then be prompted to select the destination. This was the default for my computer. So I'm just going to keep it that way and click extract. From there, the extracted folder should just pop up automatically. This is where we're going to click the install file. So double click on the install file. You might be prompted with this message. Like I just was, if you click on more info, you can run this anyway, which we will. From here, a command box will pop up. It's going to ask you to provide the installation directory. I'm just going to keep this blank and hit enter. It's going to ask me if I'd like to override a previously installed version. I'm going to type yes and hit enter. Then it'll ask you, would you like to create a start menu shortcut? I'm also going to say yes for that and hit enter. It just gave me an error, but it should work for you. Um, same thing for this. Would you like to create a desktop icon? I'm going to type yes and then hit enter. So it's saying data letter installation is quitting. Press any key to continue. So I'll just hit enter again. So if you experience the same errors that I just did, what that means is it's not going to create a shortcut on your desktop. So you'll have to manually create it. It's a very easy process. I'm going to hover over this data loader dash 55.0.1 and I'm going to right click this. And from here, I'm going to manually create a shortcut by clicking on show more options and then clicking on create shortcut. I'm going to minimize this box slightly and I'm just going to drag the shortcut onto my desktop. And if we click on this icon, it'll open up data loader. Again, if you didn't experience the errors that I did, this icon will actually show up as the Salesforce cloud. It really doesn't matter what the image is as long as the data loader itself works. So if you click on any of these options, we'll just click on insert. For example, from here, it'll give you a step-by-step -step on how to log in. You can either choose OAuth or you can use password authentication. And also you can select the environment production or sandbox. If you're using a trailhead playground, you're going to keep it on production and you're going to click login. And from here, you'll be prompted to enter your username and password for whatever playground that you're using. So that's all I have for this video. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.